Well, GOP Congressman Devin Nunes plans to file criminal referrals to the DOJ for witnesses who have lied under oath to Congress. One America's John Hines caught up with a California representative at CPAC and has more. Well, really what we're talking about is where we have to go with the Russia investigation, how we're dealing with the Democrats who are moving off of the collusion, conspiracy, obstruction, rabbit hole that they've been going down into and leading the American people to. And they're switching it now to like financial crimes and other supposed crimes. Uh, but we're still continuing to get to the bottom of what was happening at the Department of Justice and the FBI, trying to make sure everyone there is held accountable what laws have to be changed and making sure ultimately that the, the fake news that was out there, uh, the misinformation, that all of that is held up uh, and those people are held accountable uh, either through the courts or otherwise. You said you're making some, preparing to make some referrals, criminal referrals. Can you talk about that? Maybe the, the, the area or some individuals or the types of individuals? Yeah, so we'll be um, so we'll be making criminal referrals on a, on a whole host of topics. But most importantly, probably lying and misleading Congress. So, as you know, some people have been Mueller investigation has been bringing people to justice on that. However, they've skipped a whole bunch of people who have lied and misled Congress. So. We'll be making those um, referrals to the Department of Justice. Would that include Mr. Cohen? Um, well, as you saw yesterday, Cohen, um, uh, Mr. Jordan, Mr. Meadows uh, sent a referral over there already for lying to Congress. He's already pled guilty to lying to Congress to us the first time. Okay. Uh, just finally, uh, Kevin McCarthy, uh, your colleague, has suggested that Mr. Schiff maybe should recuse himself from any investigations because it's come to light that he's had some contact with uh, the person who was involved in the Steele dossier. Your thoughts? Well, what we really need to know is, you know, were, you know, were they coordinating? Uh, because we know in other instances we've seen where the Democrats have coordinated with witnesses. So if there were, if there was previous involvement between Glenn Simpson and the Democrats on either the House or Senate Intelligence Committee, that'd be really bad because Glenn Simpson is clearly a bad actor here. He's clearly someone who was, who was an operative for the Democratic Party apparatus. He's a propaganda narrative creator. Where the, where the media would, would take his supposed investigative research, which was really not investigative at all, it was just phony, and there were hit pieces on, on politicians and on the Trump campaign. As you all know, that all got fed in the FBI. So Simpson's a bad actor. Uh, whether or not uh, he was coordinating with the Democrats in Congress, that'd be something that we all should know. I mean, and, and if that happened, I think it'd be a big problem. In the meantime, the president's uh, current uh, personal attorney, Rudy Giuliani, is calling for Michael Cohen to be prosecuted again for telling more lies to Congress. In a tweet today, Giuliani said special counsel Robert Mueller prosecuted Michael Flynn for making a false statement when the FBI thought that he was telling the truth. He added Cohen's perjury about seeking a White House job is proven by his own words, and he must be prosecuted. One America's Neil McCabe spoke with the president's attorney about Cohen's recent testimony and has more. Rudy Giuliani, who leads the president's legal team, told One American News that Michael Cohen's testimony confirms the president's narrative, and it confirms that Cohen is a stranger to the truth. I heard nothing uh, that I didn't know before, except things that were helpful. His flat-out statement, there was no collusion, which makes you question why there was an investigation at all. This is now the fourth or fifth witness who has said no collusion after the special prosecutor and the press thought they were going to break the case open. And then he, and then he basically said that the Steele dossier, which was the basis for the FISA warrants in his whole case was a phony, particularly with regard to him. And then he got himself in trouble by apparently committing perjury, you know, saying he wasn't seeking a job with the administration. I know that to be totally false. 
Uh, and a lot of people know that he was seeking a job with the administration. He uh, he also perjured himself with regard to the statement that he filed saying he had no contracts with foreign governments. And he had at least two very lucrative contracts with foreign governments. So he basically has testimony under oath contradicting itself. And he may, he may have... Uh, significant other problems. Congressman Meadows has referred him for investigation by the Justice Department. So the irony of it is that Cohen comes there to lie his way to a possible reduction in sentence, and he may very well get an expansion of his sentence. Giuliani, who was once the U.S. Attorney for the Southern District of New York, said he was looking forward to the full story coming out about the severe misconduct by former FBI acting director Andrew McCabe before and after the 2016 election. He and, uh, and Peter Strzok are probably the two people most responsible for carrying out what I call Strzok's insurance policy. Uh, and that's why this investigation has yielded no evidence of collusion, because it never happened. I mean, they made that up and kept trying to get people to lie and to say something that would support it. Originally, it was supported by the Steele dossier, which was a dossier that was prepared at the behest of Hillary Clinton. The campaign paid over a million dollars for it, and it's, you know, phony as a $3 bill, uh, including um, statements now that are provably false, including, you know, the testimony of, uh, of Cohen. The former mayor of New York City's main task is responding to special counsel Robert Mueller on behalf of the president. Giuliani said after months of fairly regular contact, Mueller and his team have gone quiet, and he is not sure if Mueller has filed his final report or not. I, I really don't know the, the, the answer to that because there hasn't been much contact in the last month. Uh, I, I hear the rumors that they've, they've prepared whatever it is that they're going to submit or may even have submitted it, but I don't know that to be true. Uh, but, I mean, I'm hoping that they're going to wind up. I mean, at least with regard to the Mueller investigation, it seems to me that uh, Cohen put the nail in, in their coffin, right? When he said that he's the last witness, no collusion. If, and, and if Cohen's not going to lie about it, you're not going to find anybody to lie about it. The reason Cohen's not lying about it is it would leave him out there contradicted by, you know, 10 other witnesses. So he figures... If I'm going to commit my perjury, i got to limit it to one witness or two witnesses, but not ten. In the end, he said, he was frustrated with the task of defending an innocent man facing an investigation that never seems to end. The president did nothing wrong. And this investigation is frustrating because when you're, when you're investigating a, a, a person who did nothing wrong, you're not going to find any evidence that they did. Then you go on doing it forever. And there has to be some discipline. I mean, they've now exhaustively investigated collusion, and every witness has come back and said, no collusion. Even with that, there were some Democrats yesterday saying that Cohen supplied evidence of collusion. It's just the opposite. But, you know, they're, they're going to make things up. But if, you, if you're talking about reality, there is no evidence that the president was involved in collusion, obstruction, violations of campaign finance. All of it, all of it is going to prove to be a political witch hunt. Giuliani said the real collusion story is the collusion between the FBI and Justice Department and the Democrats trying to rig the 2016 election and then trying to reverse it.